Hi, Paul Gorney from Luxury Living in Chicago. The market in Chicago is nuts. Um, people are multiple offers, buying things like crazy. We're going to get into what it is like if you want to live on Chicago's North Shore right now. So the northern suburbs of Chicago. It's hard to find property, so many multiple offers. However, interest rates are rising, so there's a deal or two falling apart. So let's look at living in the North Shore of Chicago right now. Um, just call, text, email if you need any help. Uh, with anything, um, days, nights, weekends, anytime, no question, too big or small. Uh, 30 years, one of the top agents here, and just let me know what you need. So here's the deal. On the North Shore, inventory is so low. People are calling, agents are calling, you know, different agents. People are calling people past clients. People are calling people cold. People are dropping off uh, notes in people's mailboxes. So you just need to know where the heck you're going to find a property and when you get it how much you're willing to lose in the future potentially, because um, it could happen. And uh, on the North Shore, will Matt, Winneka, Glencoe, Highland Park, Glen, uh, Glencoe, Northfield, um, all these areas are just you know kind of bonkers. The further north you go, it can settle a little bit, but if you want to move to will Matt, uh, or you want to move to Winneka, um those are those markets are on fire i mean just absolutely crazy so um in wilmette the school year you know is the driver in winneka all over the north shore so it is beginning of may um almost here and people want to be in by june july the latest typically so um you better get an agent um that has connections knows the market um, can find properties that you couldn't find on your own or knows how to beat out other people. Um, we just won one. Um, one of the big teams here on the North Shore had a, a bid in on a property and we outbid them. We got it for 100000 less than what they offered uh, for various reasons. And then I just found a property for someone off market um, that was moving from Florida, actually. Reverse commute there because so many people are moving to Florida. And we were able to get a property off market and we were able to get it about 20 grand under uh, just a typical fair market value. And if it was on the market, it probably would have sold for 100,000 more than that. So you got to know your way around the market and be able to source things, get things. So uh, if you want to move in Glencoe right now, it's not quite as bad, uh, but still it's fairly tight. And then um, if you want to go up to Highland Park, Lake Forest, it's a little bit better, you know, a slightly better. But the closer you get to the city, things are kind of crazy. So, um, you know, just call, text, email uh, if you need anything at all. School year is coming and people are uh, really want to get in, you know, for the school year. If you want a great deal, you know, a better deal rather, um, fall is good. But there's going to be so few options right now with the way the inventory level is you're probably better off getting something you like and just paying up for it. And once again, you got to be realized the market could go down. You know, I've been I've seen the cycles over 30 years and, you know, people are paying 100, 200, 300,000 more than what, you know, your typical market value is. So um, most people, though, compared to 2008, nine are OK losing the money, putting the extra money in that they're getting from stock market gains. They're OK with it. They're not looking to, you know, uh, win the lotto here on the appreciation for their home. Um, they just want a place to live and um, to be comfortable and hopefully not lose money. So uh, just let me know if you need anything on the North Shore of Chicago, any of the northern uh, suburbs, uh, if you really need to navigate this and find something for yourself.